Hey there folks, Peter here at BlackRock Business and today on the channel, I'm so glad to see you first of all. And now I'm going to show you how you can actually link your Amazon Sellers account to your QuickBooks Online file. It's quick and simple. Maybe we might see a few speed bumps, but we're going to get through this. Uh, right away, I'm going to mention that if you would like a very, you know, in-depth demonstration of this software and everything that it can do for you, I will encourage you to get over to ecom.blackrockbusiness.com. There's a link down there right in the description so that you can get a one-on-one -on -one question answer session for everything that Webgility can do for you. Uh, set up by yours truly with my special representation at Webgility. But let's check this out. I currently have just jumped into a QuickBooks Online account. Uh, this is just a sandbox account, not my real QuickBooks Online, but I'm using it so that I can show you when you get into your Webgility account, uh, right away it's going to ask you to connect apps for data and sync. And once again, I'm going to tell you that we are connecting your Amazon Sellers account to QuickBooks Online. Why are we doing this? For a number of reasons. You can process your orders from Amazon very quickly and easily, like a packing slip and shipping labels and get everything in the box and ship it out. And then all of the information gets right into your QuickBooks Online, records your financials, records the fees from Amazon, all of these very important things that are tedious. You're either paying a bookkeeper uh, big money to do this for you, or you're doing it yourself and it's taking up all your time. Both of these things are just a time suck and a money suck, and you don't want that. You want web, you want it to happen automatically and quickly, and this is awesome. So right away, first I'm going to hit add my accounting. Like I showed you, I'm logged into a, a quick sandbox account, so I do QuickBooks Online. Uh, I'm already logged in, so I'm thinking it'll find it right away. Yep. If you are not logged into your QuickBooks Online, it'll come up right here and it'll ask you to log into your QuickBooks Online. So I'm going to say, yeah, let's connect these apps. Yeah. Sweet. <laughs> All right. So uh, that got added, but we might need to refresh. Should show it. There we go. QuickBooks is successfully connected. Now my sales channel. I'll take a pit stop here and uh, I will also mention that you can do all sorts of sales channels. You can do multiple sales channels. We got Amazon, eBay, Shopify, Etsy, WooCommerce, Magento, all of these different ones. There's, there's a big list of other ones. These are just the most popular ones so they come up first. Uh, and then you can have those orders and sales coming from those channels also straight into your QuickBooks Online. So, uh, I'm doing Amazon. Yeah. Here we go. It's Next, it will ask me to log into Amazon. Hit sign in there. Now it's going to send me a code, which is 030799. There we go. Uh, it wants me to give WebGility the ability to see my account, which is fine. You're almost done authorizing with Agility. Continue. There we go. Now I'm going to hit continue. Let's see. It has connected to my Amazon store. It is now downloading my orders for the last 30 days uh, on my on my Amazon account. A little scary. Uh, what's going to happen? So, it's going to keep working here. It's going to take just a little bit. Now, it is synchronizing company or customers, products, etc., etc. Uh, here we are. I'm just going to keep it on for shipping and inventory. I don't really care to mess with sales tax because Amazon takes care of the tax prop issues with Amazon sellers. And I don't really care about custom transaction numbers. So hitting next. Here we are. I believe we are all set. I think we are all connected. And now I'm going to pop over to the dashboard. 
and right now it should be getting my orders none have shown up yet but it's gonna take yeah it's gonna take a little while for my orders to start showing up in here uh, because it's got to grab them and there's quite a few of them you can see up here it's refreshing but that is the quick walkthrough on connecting uh, Amazon seller account to your QuickBooks Online. Uh, like I said, go ahead and click on the link down in the description below so we can do a one-on-one -on -one session and get your answers for your questions when it comes to automating how your Amazon orders show up in your accounting system, as well as processing those orders, synchronizing quantities, etc., etc. There's so many things that you waste time on every single day. Click on that link get scheduled for a demonstration. My name's Peter with BlackRock Business. Thank you very much. You have a great day now. Bye-bye.